Good morning, Codger Biker here, and um, I've just received the aluminium bash plate, which is a KTM Power Parts bash plate. I'll put the number on here. Um, I wasn't going to make a video, but I thought, well, it might be of interest to somebody. First of all, let's see what you get in the package, because I always wonder what you get with these things. So you get the bash plate itself, seems okay. I've seen different ones, I'm sure that some people will say there's better ones out there, but I thought I'd just go with the standard one to begin with. Also, it seems to be about the cheapest, um, three or four millimeters, as you imagine. That. So, seems sturdy enough for my needs. So, you also get instructions. So it looks like the instructions are there. Yep. Included is a bracket. Two of these mounts that go into the back of the uh, frame underneath the engine. Two of them. I think a couple of rubber bungs that go on the end of those, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't checked the instructions yet, but I think they fit on there somehow to, uh, to stop vibrations probably. And uh, a pack of screws. So it looks like you don't just get the bash plate, but you also get all the parts to fit it, which I think is good because I wasn't quite sure about that. Uh, you never know when you order something, whether you're going to have to go back and then ask for a mounting kit, but uh, it looks like it all comes together, which is bloody expensive, but um, cheaper than... The options that I saw. I did see one that's, that I've got toolkits on the front and all the other things but um, one of the things about this bike is I want to keep the weight down to absolute minimum so I'm going to weigh this now and then figure out how much that adds to the bike. The good thing is it's adding weight as low down as you can get just about but still weight so let's weigh it. Yeah so I don't know if you can see that but including the instruction uh, sorry not including the instructions it comes to 1250 grams so just over a kilogram. So this is a relatively simple thing you would imagine, but uh, unfortunately they just show the brackets already fitted to the um, engine guard when they aren't actually fitted. So looking at it and deducing from the photographs, which aren't brilliant, black and white, it looks to me like the bolt comes up from underneath with a washer. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and it also looks like the flat side goes along there if that makes sense so it looks to me like it goes like this and it goes like this you have a, a washer and a bolt underneath there with the locking nut there that looks to be the logical way to do it because that way you've then got the nylon which appears to be poking out in the photograph there. So you'd have the washer on the other side. That looks how it's done. Um, they don't give a torque setting for that, but um, that's not going to be critical because it's got a nylon insert on it. So once it's tightened up. You do see a lot of these bikes on stands underneath this. So that means a quarter of the way the bike is on these plastic uh, inserts yeah I don't know how I feel about that and they go into the frame and the two at the front go into the frame so when you jack the bike up call it 150 kilograms that's 37 and a half kilograms on each point if you just assume 50 50 um, 50 50 um, weight distribution big assumption but anyway we'll worry about that one day I've put um, bobbins on the back of mine for now, but uh, I was intending to get um, a lift to go underneath this, which is why I wanted the metal one. So I really wasn't interested in the plastic one. So anybody who uh, uses a lift to lift their bike underneath one of these, have you had any problems with these braking? Let me know if you would. Appreciate it. Ta.
Okay, so they've got nylon inserts to hold them, hopefully. And uh, I'm guessing that's nylon um, rods. How strong they are, I don't know. Anyone want to let me know, please? <laughs> so that part's ready to go onto the bike. These two push inside the frame. Mount those to the bike first and then offer that up. Fit the bracket before that and then just bolt it all up. What could possibly go wrong? Thankfully, they do give you, uh, they tell you where to apply Loctite, which I always like to do. It tells you to apply Loctite to these screws at the front and it also gives you the torque settings 10 newton meters and 15 newton meters on the top bracket. So I will be using those settings with my torque wrench in due course. Okay, just make sure the bolts fit. Which they do. Those fit for now. Loose fit out. Maybe some lubricant on those might help. Gentle with those, they're Beasley cross threaded. Ten new meters. Ten Newton meters. Quickly done, jobs are good and much better. Well, I hope that was some use. Put the bike away now because it's pouring rain. So just out of interest, I did weigh the plastic one and its bolts and it came to about 700 grams. So 700 grams for the plastic one and 1250 for the uh, metal one. So I've gone up by about 500 grams, half a kilogram, have to keep a record of that. Anyway, hope that was of some use to you. If it wasn't, thanks for watching anyway. Codge Biker is out.